What's going on y'all, it's Darian, and in this video, I wanna talk about how I decided what company to work for as a product manager. It's very easy to get excited about getting a job offer and taking the first job offer that comes to you, but you know, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know, back on the channel, I have a video about why I turned down my first two job offers after coding bootcamp, and I took the third job offer and how that worked out. So you can check that video out to know more, but in this one, I wanna talk about why the same thing sort of applied as a product manager, I didn't take the first job offer I got as a product manager. And I want to sort of talk about some of the reasons why I did end up taking the job that I finally took. So the first big reason why um, I chose the companies that I've worked at so far as a product person is the company size. Because I realized early in my career that I'm not really cut out to work at big corporations or huge monolithic type companies. You know, I like to be challenged. I like to work fast paced. I like to wear multiple hats and I like to see the impact of the work that I'm doing. And I found that when I worked at really big companies or corporations, it's very easy or much easier to kind of just sort of duck off in the shadows or just kind of hide and kind of just get by, just mingle and befriend people and not really, you know, focus on learning or producing anything valuable. And people can have an entire career at big companies like that. And if that's what you're going for, that's totally fine. You know, the size of the company is really important to me because I've found personally that when I work at a smaller company, you have more of that. You have a, a more well-rounded team. You are expected to kind of contribute a bit more. You're going to learn a lot more or get to be involved in a lot more and things like that. So yeah, for me personally, I knew that company size was important. I didn't want to work at a company that was super, super huge, probably like globally distributed and all that type of stuff. But I definitely wanted to uh, work somewhere that I felt like would be a, a good size that I could grow and see the impact of my work and things like that. So company size was a big one for me making my first product management choice. So I think that kind of seamlessly ties into that second one, which is the impact of my work. And again, you know, I think it's very kind of disappointing a bit, a little discouraging when you don't really get to see the impact or the outcome of your work, whether that's in the final product or get to see a customer's life changed or get to hear like cool feedback from customers. You know, when you work at a very big company, a lot of times there's a ton of different initiatives going on. And sometimes you might be working on a very small initiative that not a lot of people will be affected by that you won't really get to see the impact of. Right. And you could work on that for a year, two years. I mean, who knows? So not to say that there aren't other opportunities within the company, depending on what large company or corporation you go to. But I just know for me, like I said in the first point, I just really wanted to see the impact of my work and feel like I'm making a difference on the team. The next one is obvious, but really important is the product. So I knew that I wanted to be working on something that was cutting edge, competitive. I would get excited about building the thing or learning about the industry or the opportunities that we could create. So when you think of it like that and you have a goal in mind of what type of product you want to work on, it kind of becomes easier to make these choices and filter out certain companies that you might not want to work at. So when you're talking really old, archaic, big monolithic companies, they might not be working on the most cutting edge, newest, latest, greatest technologies, right? And so going back to the company size thing, I know that for me, working at a startup or a very you know small or smaller company gave me a much greater chance of working on a cutting edge tool or solution or product that would give me all the experience I was looking for in terms of new technologies or, you know, coding stacks I had never worked with before. So I was really looking for a product that I felt like would have potential in the future, right, to make a difference in whatever industry they competed in, whatever, you know, world background they were coming from, I wanted the product that I was working on to really be I don't want to say revolutionizing, but I wanted to be making a big noticeable difference in that industry. So having a goal around what kind of product you want to work on, I think is, is really helpful and helping you narrow down those companies you want to be at. The next one is probably the most obvious, but you know, let's talk about it, which is the opportunity, right? And when I say the opportunity that the company is providing, I mean everything. I'm talking the pay, the benefits, the PTO, the company culture, 401k matching, maybe uh, student loan reimbursement is important to you. So 
I would come up with a list of things that are really important to you. Like for me, I knew I wanted to be completely remote. I wanted to have pretty much unlimited PTO. I wanted to have stock and equity options. I also wanted to make sure they had some sort of continued learning initiatives or some way that I could continue to develop my skills and progress in my career within the company. So those are all things that were really important to me. Doesn't mean that I wouldn't have gone to a company that didn't have those things. It's just that when I found companies that did have those things, it made me move them up higher on my list in terms of how much energy and effort I put into applying and interviewing with them, right? And researching the company because I know that those fit my personal goals, right? Like not only does the job title and description fit my goals, but also the things the company is offering. The opportunity there is also kind of in line with my personal goals and where I'm trying to go in my career and my life. And my last point is company leadership, because I think that's the biggest, one of the biggest decision, you know, making factors, at least for me personally, when I'm going to any new company or thinking about doing anything in my career, because leadership determines everything about the company, right? In terms of the company culture, what's valued, what's expected, the way people are treated. And when it comes to, as we've seen recently in tech, these layoffs and things like that, those sort of like management changes or direction changes, all that stuff comes down from the executive leadership. So understanding who those people are and what their vision is for the company and what they value are super, super important to me because if you don't have a good, you know, intuitive feeling about the executive leadership team, or if you're not even able to really meet or talk to anybody from the executive leadership team, depending on, you know, what role you're applying for, of course, but we're talking about product management, you know, that would be a red flag to me because as a product manager, you're really helping drive the products or the vision of the executive leadership you know, into the products and into the market. So you really want to make sure that you're bought into the vision that they have and the way that they work and what they value so that you can embody that in your work and make sure that you're effective and you're productive as well for the company. So I just think those are really big points, really big key things to keep in mind as you're out interviewing and looking for jobs as a product manager. So let me know down in the comments, was that helpful, that list? You know, did y'all think you agree with those things or are there things that you would kind of look for separately? If so, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to talk about it with y'all. But until next time, y'all, this is Darian. See y'all next video. Peace.